Welcome and good afternoon. My name is Paula Chavez and I am this year's Senior Class Vice President. On behalf of Class of 2023, we thank all of you for joining us today to celebrate our graduation from Dewey Lake High School. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Johanneta Aguilar Maldonado y soy el presidente de la clase de este año. En nombre de la clase 2023, les agradecemos a todos por unirse a nosotros hoy para celebrar nuestra graduación de la escuela secundaria de Chuli Lake. Our class motto is Ride High in the Saddle. As we come to the end of our high school journey, we are so glad to see so many familiar faces here to share this day with us. It's time to reflect on the memories we share, the celebration of our accomplishments, and the beginning of many new adventures to come for all of us. Thank you again for joining the class of 2023 for our graduation. Nuestro lema de la clase es montar alto en la silla de montar. A medida que llegamos al final de nuestro camino de la escuela secundaria, nos complace ver tantas caras conocidas aquí para compartir este día con nosotros. Un momento para reflexionar sobre los recuerdos que compartimos, una celebración de nuestros logros y el comienzo de muchas nuevas aventuras por venir para todos nosotros. Gracias nuevamente por venirse a la clase 2023 para nuestra grabación. At this time, we would like to welcome Ms. Celeste Wedmore, who will be doing the invocation for the class of 2023. En este momento, nos gustaría darle la bienvenida a la señora Celeste Wedmore, quien realizará la invocación para la clase de 2023. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you for your invitation to share in your celebration today. At this time, may we come together in heartfelt prayer for our graduates. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, creator of the universe and every living thing, we turn our hearts to you to praise and thank you for who you are and for this time set aside to honor and celebrate the achievements and success of each individual graduate sitting upon this stage today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the demonstration of their faith and asking for your Holy Spirit to be present with them today and through every tomorrow as they take the next step forward. We thank you for your guidance and protection in keeping them safe throughout the school year, Lord. And as they move ahead in the next chapter of their lives, we ask for your continued favor and blessing that their lives would be enriched with your guiding wisdom and strength, and most of all, your steadfast love. Empower them, Lord, to become the strong men and women leaders of tomorrow this world needs. Who are not afraid to work by the sweat of their brow, who are willing to stand firm in your truth, and who refuse to shrink back in fear from challenges that will test their courage and endurance. May they trust in you to overcome any giants that stand in the way of achieving their goals. So thank you, Lord God, that each graduate's future is as bright as the promises you faithfully provide according to your word and the power of your great name that not only assures these graduates of a refuge of your unending love and mercy, but that you will always be a lamp into their feet and a light into their path. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we offer this humble prayer and give thanks. Amen. At this time, we would like to welcome Cohen Brown and Annalisa Greenwood Commemorate our classmate Garrett Dean Guthrie. In this moment, we would like to Today, we carry all of these experiences with us, 
but we also carry all that we've gathered from having Garrett in our lives. He gave us examples of being a hard worker. Nuestra promoción de octavo grado en los formales, los bailes de fin de curso, el día de salto de último año, nuestra broma de último año, las ferias, mecánicas de agricultura, ser un oficial de ATP, dos temporadas de Party Pro y la escuela secundaria en sí, son solo algunas de las muchas cosas que nunca llegamos a experimentar con Gary. Agregando la relación a esa lista, no es fácil. Mientras caminamos por el escenario hoy, llevamos todas estas experiencias con nosotros, pero también llevamos todo lo que hemos acumulado al haber tenido a Gary en nuestras vidas. Nos dio ejemplo de ser muy trabajadores, fue un buen amigo y nos mostró cómo divertirnos y reír sin importar la situación. of being a hard worker, good friend, and showed us how to have fun and laugh regardless of the situation. When we lost Garrett, our class group of closer, in order to stay strong, sometimes I catch myself wondering what things would be like today if, you, if he were still with us. What, what, have, what he would have done in that day, what sports he would have played, I would act, what kind of pickup he would drive, if he would still talk with an accent or laugh the way he did. It hurts to realize that we will never get to know that gear or get to walk this stage with him. I know that even if we cannot see him, see that take place, we can still feel Garrett with us. During all the tug of wars we had during pep rallies and spring cleans, we all know he's with us when we promoted from eighth grade during every state convention and every moment since the day we lost him, and he will always be. The class of 2023 and I are very thankful we had the chance to know him and have him as part of our lives for as long as we did. We're also thankful for his mom, Carrie, for being so supportive and kind to us throughout the years. Cuando perdimos a Garrett, nuestra clase se unió para mantenerse fuertes porque en ese momento eso era todo lo que podíamos hacer. A veces me pregunto cómo hacían las cosas hoy, si él todavía estuviera con nosotros. ¿Qué había hecho en FP? ¿Qué deportes había jugado? ¿Cómo actuaría? ¿Qué tipo de camioneta conduciría? Si todavía hablaría con acento, o sea, reiría como lo hacía. No le daré cuenta de que nunca conoceremos a ese Gary. Llegaremos a caminar este escenario con él. Sé que aunque no podamos ver que eso suceda, todavía podemos sentir a Gary con nosotros. Durante los juegos de Tug of War que tuvimos durante los rallies y en los sprinklings, todos tenemos que estar con nosotros cuando salimos del octavo grado. Durante cada convención estatal y cada momento desde el día que lo perdimos, y siempre lo estará. La clase de 2023 y yo estamos muy agradecidos de haber tenido la oportunidad de conocerlo y tenerlo como parte de nuestra vida durante tanto tiempo. También estamos agradecidos con su madre, Carrie, por ser tan solidaria y amable con nosotros a lo largo de los años. Carrie Lee Gunther, since 2018, you heard my sister say, Garrett Dean Gunther, was strong but not rude, kind but not weak, humble but not timid, and proud but not arrogant. This speech was written for your son for every graduation in Tilly Lake Fair. Today we would like to say to you, Carrie has a loving passion for her two sons, her family, and friends. Carrie, you've helped me get through high school more than you could ever imagine, and I thank you for everything you've done. You have not only helped me, but you've helped the entire class. As you can see, there's an empty chair on the stage, and this chair is for Gary. We all know Gary would have made this year even better with his laugh, smile, and crazy ideas. When Gary passed, one of the things I thought about was that I was not going to be able to graduate with my best friend. This put a massive hole in my heart, but I knew that I did not just need to graduate for me, but I also need to graduate for him. Gary's model was courage as being scared to death and silent up anyway. My first day of eighth grade was my first school day without Gary, as I was sad and nervous to start this new journey without him. After the first period on that first day, I cannot continue and ran to the car. I ran to the car, locked myself in it, and sat in sadness while thinking about it. I was sitting there when I got a text message from Gary to Carly Guthrie, desde 2018 has escuchado a la hermana de Cohen decir que Gary Dean Guthrie era fuerte pero no grosero, amable pero no débil, humilde pero no tímido y orgulloso pero no arrogante. 
Este discurso fue escrito para su hijo en cada grabación en la feria de Tulane Lake. Hoy nos gustaría decírtelo. Kerry siente una gran pasión por sus dos hijos, su familia y sus amigos. Kerry ha sido la joven a pasar la escuela secundaria más de lo que puedas imaginar. Y él te agradece todo lo que has hecho. No solo has ayudado a él, sino que has ayudado a toda la clase. Como pueden ver, hay una silla más que en el escenario y esta silla es para Gary. Todos sabemos que Gary hubiera hecho que este año fuera aún mejor con su risa, sonrisa y ideas locas. Cuando falleció Gary, una de las cosas en las que Cohen pensó fue que no podía guardarse con su mejor amigo. Esto hizo un gran agujero en su corazón, pero sabía que no solo necesitaba guardarse por su familia y por él, sino que también sabía que necesitaba guardarse por Gary y su familia. El lema de Gary era, coraje es estar muerto de miedo, pero enseñar de todos modos. Su primer día de octavo grado fue su primer día de escuela sin Gary. Cohen estaba triste y nervioso por comenzar este nuevo viaje sin él. Después del primer periodo de ese primer día, no pudo continuar y corrió hacia el carro, hacia el auto. Corrió al auto, se encerró en él y se sintió triste mientras pensaba en él. Él estaba sentado ahí, sentado ahí cuando recibió un mensaje de texto de Kerry que decía, Hola amigo, soy Kerry. Sé que los últimos 44 días han sido increíblemente difíciles para ti y ayer y hoy lo han hecho tan real. The message said, Hey buddy, it's Kerry. I know the past 44 days have been unbelievably hard for you, and yesterday and today I made it so real. But I want you to know, first of all, Garrett loves you and he would do anything for you, and that has not changed. He doesn't want us to be sad, he wants us to live life to his fullest, just like he did. I know you feel lonely without him, but if you talk to him or write to him, he was right there listening and reading every word. He is by your side, bud, I promise. Cohen, I love you so much. Keep putting one foot in front of the other, because that is what Garrett is telling you to do. Go smile and laugh with the other kids in honor of Garrett. If you need me, I am one phone call away, and I'm, I will be right there to hug you, to hold you, and just to talk. In honor of your best friend, we have to keep going as hard as it is. I'm always, always here for you. That's a promise. Carry this message helped me get through that day, week, year, and every day since then. Thank you. To the class, this is our last day as high schoolers. And if Garrett were here, he would tell us to live the next chapter of our lives like someone left the gate wide open. So don't have any hesitations in life and do what makes you happy. Thank you. Antes que nada, que Gary te ama y quiere y que haría cualquier cosa por ti y eso no ha cambiado. Él no quiere que estemos tristes, quiere que vivamos la vida al máximo como lo hizo él. Sé que te sientes solo sin él, pero si le hablas o le escribes, él está ahí escuchando y leyendo cada palabra. Él está a tu lado, amigo, te lo prometo. Cohen, te quiero mucho. Sigue poniendo un pie delante del otro porque eso es lo que Gary te está diciendo que hagas. Ve a reír y sonreír con los otros niños en honor a Gary. Si me necesitas, te estoy una llamada de distancia y estaré ahí para abrazarte y solo para hablar. En honor a tu mejor amigo, tenemos que seguir adelante tan duro como sea. Siempre estoy, siempre aquí. Eso es una promesa. Kerry, este mensaje le ayudó a superar ese día, semana, año y todos los días desde entonces. Cuenta, agradece y te da las gracias. Como en que decía la clase que este es nuestro último día como estudiantes de secundaria. Y si quieres estuviera aquí, nos diría que íbamos el próximo capítulo de nuestras vidas como si alguien hubiera dejado la puerta abierta de par en par. Así que no duden la vida y hagan lo que los haga feliz. Gracias.
I had the privilege of growing up in this community and the privilege of being in this class. We have had our rough moments over the years, but that has not broken our bond, but instead it has strengthened it. Today is the day we finally walk across this stage. We have reached the finish line. And though it feels like it took forever to get here, it also feels like it went by so fast. This year, as we prepared for our final year of sports, FFA and school, we have reflected on how much we have grown in the past four years. Some of us have realized how much of a hand some of our mentors have had in our lives and our futures. Such as Mr. Shad, who coached the Ag Mechanics team consisting of Omar, Cohen, Annalisa, and myself. As we reached the end of our final FFA season, he gave us a heart to heart to let us know just how much he cared about us and how much he appreciated us. We responded how he expected us to, but I would just like to let him know now, on behalf of the four of us, that we love and appreciate you too. Just as we had Mr. Shad, Samantha and Maria found Mr. Hartung as a business mentor. Eileen found a support system through Ms. Ellsmore. Johannes, Paola, and Diego had put Mr. Bowen to lead them towards successful paths. Diana and Itari had the help of Letty to translate assignments that were not in their first language. Mia also had the support of Ms. Ellsmore, as well as all of the other teachers that helped and made an impact in our lives in the past, present, and in the future. On behalf of us all, I would like it to be known that we love and appreciate all those who supported us throughout these four years. We could not have done it without all of you and without each other. Just as the teachers and staff have supported us, so have those of you in the audience. So thank you to our friends and family, without which we would be lost. Because family gives us the roots to stand tall and strong. We will continue to need your support in all of our future endeavors, so we ask for you to stick by us for this journey. This fall, some of us will go to college, maybe trade school, or even the Army. As we all find our paths in life, we must remember to not be afraid of failure, but afraid of regrets. Our failures are what help us grow as people, but our regrets are what hold us back. Good luck to the class of 2023 and all of your future endeavors. I love you all, and thank you. Please welcome back Paula Chavez. Now please join me in welcoming Johanel Aguilar Maldonado, this year's class of 2023, salutatorian to deliver her speech. Ahora, una cena a mí para darle la bienvenida a Johanel Aguilar Maldonado, el salutatorian de la clase de 2023, para que dé su discurso. Good afternoon, class of 2023, faculty, friends, and family members. My name is Johannet Aguilar Maldonado, and as you all know, I am this year's class of editorial. It is an honor to be able to give this speech in front of you all here today. As a first-generation Mexican-American, I'd like to also incorporate Spanish into my speech as a tribute to my family and the rest of the Hispanic families that are in attendance here today. Buenas tardes a todos. Es un honor para mí poder dar este saludo a todos los asistentes de este evento. En primer lugar, me gustaría agradecer a Dios por guiarme sus pasos y por permitir ese gran logro hoy. As I look into the crowd, I see the faces of the people that have helped me become the person I am today. Even though some of us have grown apart, the memories we create together and hold are unforgettable. We will all carry these of each other into our future lives that define who we are and who we are meant to become. Hoy se cierra una etapa y se inicia otra. Cada uno de los que estamos aquí debemos tomar nuestros propios caminos. Cada uno debe seguir trabajando para lograr todo lo que se proponga. Puede ser ir a la militar, o un colegio comunitario, o como yo, que me voy a ir a la universidad que está aquí, o aquí, aunque no le caiga muy bien la idea de mis papás. También debemos de no olvidar que si logramos mantenernos positivos, lograremos cualquier reto en nuestras vidas. 
As young adults in 2023, we're constantly facing pressure from social media and peers to be someone we're not. We live up to other people's standards, forget our worth, and feel alone. Every individual in this room is worth so much more than the way we've been made to feel in the past, and our past experiences do not have to define our future. As Gwen Stacy from The Amazing Spider-Man once said, we have to be greater than what we suffer. Life is about moving forward and growing with the new lessons learned. We have to value it by living every day like it's our last. La vida es una preparación para el futuro. La mejor preparación para el futuro es vivir como si no hubiera uno. Como dijo Carol G, en la vida no podemos retroceder y recuperar el tiempo perdido, pero sí podemos volver a empezar. I'd now like to thank, take the opportunity to thank a few people. First, my parents. My dad first came to this country over 20 years ago, and soon after, my mom did too. They basically went to the unknown and had no idea what their life would become. But they worked hard and made many sacrifices along the way and were able to give my sisters and I the life they never had. My parents were able to attend college, but this fall I will be a first generation college student at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. This is a huge achievement for my parents as well because in a way they are living vicariously through me. Everything I've accomplished and everything that is yet to come is because of them. So thank you mom and dad for everything you both done for me. Mi papá vino por primera vez a este país hace más de 20 años y poco después mi mamá también. Ellos entraron desconocido y no tenían idea de qué se convertiría su vida, pero trabajaron duro y hicieron muchos sacrificios en el camino y pudieron darnos a mis hermanas y a mí la vida que nunca tuvieron. Mis padres no pudieron asistir a la universidad, pero este otoño ser un estudiante universitario de primera generación en la Universidad Politécnica en San Luis Obispo. Este es un gran logro para mis padres también, porque de alguna manera viven indirectamente a través de mí. Todo lo que he logrado y todo lo que está por venir es gracias a ellos. Así que gracias a Maya Pa por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Next to the teachers who had the greatest impact on me. To my brother from another mother, Mr. Quinn. Thank you so much for everything. Mr. Quinn is one of my favorite teachers and the greatest impact coach ever. He made class enjoyable every day, which is difficult considering that he taught math. It was sad not having him around these last two years, and I know it made him sad too, knowing that he would no longer see me, his favorite student, every morning. But I'm glad he's on to better things now. To Mr. Bowen and Wendy, thank you for all of your help with scholarships and college applications. There's no way I could have possibly done it without you guys. And thank you, Mr. Bowen, for not just being a great teacher, but also a great friend. You're one of the few teachers that actually felt close to and trusted at this school. To Mr. Brown, Shad, Hartung, Amanda Scribble, Amber Warch, Chessa, and Ms. Brown, Thank you for making FFA such a great organization and for making every trip and competition so much fun. I owe all of my success to you guys. And thank you to Mr. Macy and the rest of the Macy family for giving me the opportunity to work at their company and gain work experience as a pest control advisor. Lastly, to my friends, Annalisa, Natalie Lopez, Eileen, Paola, Natalia, Bella, Sam, Desiree, and Addie. Thank you for making high school, especially my senior year, so much fun and something to look forward to. I'm excited to spend this whole summer with you guys, except Anna, because she decided to go into the army and she gets shipped off like next week. I guess she didn't listen to Khloe Kardashian when she said, you have your whole life to be old, for only a few years to be young. But all jokes aside, thank you for making life worth it. The 13 year old me would be so happy to know that I was able to find such great, supportive, and accepting friends. Especially Anna, I am forever indebted to you. If I decide I want to get married someday, instead of her and groomsmen, I'll have groomsmen at my wedding. And to the few guy friends I have, Cohen, Ivan, Che, Diego, and Omar, thank you for being kind and accepting towards me, and never making me feel any different, even though I am. I love you guys. To any other friends for didn't mention here, just know I appreciate you too. Once again, thank you all for being here to experience this huge milestone with us. And congratulations to the class of 2023. I can't wait to see all the amazing things we will all accomplish in life. Una vez más, gracias a todos por estar aquí para vivir este gran momento con nosotros. Y felicidades a la clase de 2023. No puedo esperar a ver todas las cosas asombrosas que todos lograremos en la vida. Gracias. Thank you. Now, if you guys all could please look up so I can take my beer real quick.
Now please join me in welcoming Ms. Cole for the presentation of scholarships. Anix 
Lisa Ariana. The next scholarship that I'm presenting this afternoon is the James D. and Barbara L. Woodman Family Scholarship. Uh, J.D. Woodman graduated from Tulane High School in 1942, and he was the first of three generations to graduate from Tulane High. J.D. was a beloved husband, father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, and a World War II veteran. J.D. Married, was married to his loving wife, Barbara, for 71 years. J.D. and Barbara Woodman are providing this scholarship today because of his love for Tule Lake and farming, and they are providing a $5,000 scholarship to a 2023 graduate who is pursuing higher education in the field of agriculture or its related disciplines. The Tule Lake High School graduate that will be receiving this generous gift today is a member of our California State FFA Championship team the 2022 FFA Nationals team at Indianapolis and has been a pest control advisor in turn with Macy's Flying Service. This fall, he will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, where he will be enrolled in the Honors Program and majoring in Plant Sciences. The recipient of the James D. and Barbara Woodman Family Scholarship is Joanna F. Hager. Louise Crawford stopped by last night and said that she would not be able to attend today's ceremony uh, to award the staff and scholarships, and so I'm doing that at this time. When the Walter and Mary Alice Stastny Foundation was established in 2008, it was the desire of the committee to help students from Lost River and to Lake High Schools to continue their educational goals at trade schools, community colleges, and universities. They especially wanted to help graduates who were good students with good grades, but ones that weren't necessarily the very top students in the class. They have chosen the following students to receive $2,000 to attend a trade school or community college. These scholarships are also renewable for another $2,000 should the recipients choose to go on to obtain a university degree. Will the following graduates please come forward when I call your name? Okay. Mr. Cohen Brown. <laughs> Ms. Diana Pianueva. It is also with great pleasure to announce the following students who have been awarded $4,000 scholarships to attend universities in the pursuit of their bachelor degree. The first one I would like to recognize this afternoon is Samantha Martinez. <laughs> Atari Villanueva Pena. Desiree Williams. Paola Chavez. And Joanette Aguilar Maldonado. Perry Hawkins was a longtime resident of Modoc County 
And the Perry M. Hawkins Scholarship Fund is an independent nonprofit corporation dedicated to the funding and awarding of annual scholarships to graduating seniors of Modoc High School in Alturas and Tule Lake High School in Tule Lake. This award is intended for students who will attend post-secondary school within two years of graduating. The scholarships must be claimed by June 1st of 2025. Those individuals that we would like to recognize today are Maria Perez Acala. Omar Hernandez. And Joanna Aguilar. And the final scholarship I will be awarding this afternoon is from the Siskiyou County Cattlemen who are awarding scholarships in the county to students pursuing a degree in an agriculture-related field. And so for $1,000, we'd like to honor Johanet Aguilar. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Next, we have Ms. Leah Brown and Mr. Augustus Guthrie, who are going to be giving the Garrett Guthrie Ride High and Saddle Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Garrett Dean Guthrie. He was strong but not rude. He was kind but not weak. He was humble but not timid. He was proud but not arrogant. Garrett had an unwavering passion for agriculture and FFA. He never failed to live life with the gates wide open. He took advantage of every opportunity that came his way. From starting his own breeding herd to attending state convention as a seventh grader, Garrett did it all. Garrett was one of the most hardworking young men, which was probably because if you love what you do, you never work a day of your life. This class is extra special. You all grew up with Garrett and made memories that will last a lifetime. Garrett's time on this earth was far too short, but you all will help keep his memory alive. Every single one of you has shown tremendous courage on days where it would be easier to give up. John Wayne once said, courage is being scared to death but saddling up anyways. This class did just that and made sure to live every moment to the fullest for Garrett. Garrett would want all of you to remember that you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is, even when you are apart, he will always be with you. This year, we will be giving out seven scholarships in memory of Garrett. We are able to award multiple scholarships to Garrett's class thanks to generous donations from Joe and Rhonda Hemphill, Jared and Alicia Staub, Garrett's Granny Pig, and the family of Wanda Hickey. The first scholarship will be going to Cohen Brown. Garrett and Cohen were best friends from the time they were born. They did everything together and even made some questionable decisions, such as letting Garrett use an electric drill to drill another hole into his belt that was too big. It might sound like a good idea, however, they did not think to take the belt off of Cohen first. Congratulations, Cohen. The next young man was very good friends with Garrett. He was on the Parley Pro Team with Garrett and they made lots of memories while traveling for FFA together. He has always worked so hard in school, FFA, and sports. Congratulations to Omar Hernandez. Our third scholarship will be awarded to Annalisa Greenwood. Garrett would be so proud of you for serving our country and you will be right by your side the entire time. You fill every room we are in with kindness and happiness. Congratulations, Anna. Our next scholarship will be going to a young lady who is very involved in MFA and worked extremely hard while competing on the Ag Mechanics team. 
Congratulations to Desiree and good luck on your venture to Las Vegas for school. <laughs> Johannette Aguilar will be receiving our next scholarship. He has had a true passion for agriculture and works extremely hard in every aspect of his life. He even got, a, got invited to be part of the honors program at Cal Poly. We know you are going to make us all proud. Congratulations. Our next scholarship will be going to Maria Perez. She was involved in volleyball and loved showing sheep at our local fair. Congratulations, Maria. <laughs> Lastly, we have Paula Chavez. She has a passion for showing pigs at our local fair, just like Garrett had a passion for raising and caring for livestock. We wish you the best of luck on your journey to become a dental hygienist. The class of 2023 had the privilege of growing up with Garrett and they were all great friends. You have all overcome many hardships and always remember that Garrett is proud of you. Always believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside of you that is greater than any obstacle. So as your high school journey comes to an end, always remember to keep living with courage, kindness, and joy. Congratulations. Good afternoon. I will be presenting the Overcoming Adversity Scholarship for the Hartman family. Christine wanted to share how this came about. In 2016, their son was in an accident that left him paralyzed. The community held a big fundraising day for them, and one of the events was a golf tournament and ball drop. She was unable to attend, but was told how fun it was. Christine was compelled to keep it going. She just needed a purpose. You students are that. All the funds being handed out today are raised at the annual golf tourney by our community members. This year is a new milestone. We will have handed out a total of $20,000 over the past seven years. They thank each and every one of you that has helped make that possible. The scholarship recipients need to be students that have overcome an adversity, but more importantly, go on to inspire others. Every parent here knows that they have the greatest kids, but when you are inspired by your own child, it is a feeling like no other. When they look at their son, they are inspired, filled with joy and courage to get out there and help others overcome life struggles. The Hartmans want to reward students who show the same grit as Connor. The first recipient is a young lady that has a detailed future plan that they believe will make a positive impact on the basin when she finishes college. Paola will be receiving a $500 scholarship. The next one goes to a student who is truly living life to the fullest. He has basically tried it all and kept his schedule busy. He is taking full advantage of what there is for him at THS and beyond. Christine hopes when he returns after college, he will start up a pickleball league. She believes that is the only sport he has not attempted. Cohen will be receiving a $500 scholarship. The final scholarship goes to the student with the most grit. This student was dealt a tough hand from the get-go, but she managed to turn it into a royal flush. She too has kept herself very busy during high school. Her essay was quite possibly the best one she has read in seven years. After reading it, Christine had no doubt this was the student she was looking for. Inspired, to say the least. The Hartman family is very proud to award Annalisa $1,000 and wish her the best in the military. Hello everyone. Before I present today's scholarship, I would like to thank the Tula Lake teachers and faculty for their amazing help in guiding future generations into success. Hola a todos. 
Antes de presentar la beca del día de hoy, queremos agradecer a los maestros y facultad por su gran ayuda en guiar futuras generaciones hacia el éxito. Sierra Cascade Industry exists to provide a livelihood for talented and hardworking individuals and their families to serve customers with quality products and to sustainably and beautifully husband the land. Sierra Cascade Industry exists para proporcionar un medio de vida a personas talentosas y trabajadoras, a sus familias, a servir a los clientes con productos de calidad y a manejar la tierra de una manera bella y sustentable. The Sierra Cascade Nursery Scholarship honors those students who are passionate in seeking to expanding their knowledge in the ag field. Today's recipient shows passion, perseverance, aptitude, and cleverness. La beca de Sierra Cascade Nursery brinda honor a los estudiantes que son apasionados en buscar y expandir su sabiduría dentro de la agricultura. El recipiente del día de hoy muestra pasión, perseverancia, actitud y astucia. With these traits, as well as the knowledge acquired throughout the years, it's almost time to put these skills to test. There is no doubt that a bright future for you awaits ahead. Con estas características, así como los conocimientos adquiridos a lo largo de todos estos años, es momento de poner a prueba tus habilidades. No hay duda de que un futuro brillante te espera por delante. In behalf of Sierra Cascade Nursery, we present this $2,000 scholarship. En nombre de Sierra Cascade Nursery, presentamos nuestra beca de $2,000 a Johanet Aguilar. Thank you so much, Sierra Cascade Nursery. 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 Hello there, I am Melissa High and I'm with uh, Benefit for the Basin. We provide scholarships to students within Klamath County, View Valley, and to Lake. Over the last seven years, we've provided over $100,000 to high school seniors in the Basin. This year, we would like to recognize Paula Chavez, and Cohen Brown. Thank you, Melissa. Now we have Mr. Matt Hartung, who will be presenting our THS Gold Card with an athletic lifetime pass. Thank you, Mr. Cole. Good afternoon. Tule Lake High School has a tradition of awarding athletic gold cards to graduating seniors. These gold cards allow them to attend future home athletic events free of charge. Each year, one of our four athletes, or one to four athletes, are selected by coaches and teachers. The voting criteria includes the number of sports completed throughout high school, all league, recognition, and athletic talent. In addition, multiple qualities such as coachability, leadership, sportsmanship, and citizenship are taken into consideration and together these qualities demonstrate a high level of character and commitment that represent a true THS gold card recipient. Today, we are honored to award Annalisa Greenwood and Cohen Brown with the coming award. We look forward to seeing you at future events. Thank you, Mr. Hartung. Is there anyone else who has scholarships today? Please come. We have Laura Shad here to present a scholarship. Give her a round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations to the class of 2023. What a truly impressive group of young men and women. The Tule Lake Beat Valley Fair has a long-standing tradition of selecting two outstanding young women each year to hold the honorable titles of Miss Tule Lake and Miss Beat Valley. These young women have the distinct privilege of representing their hometown as members of the fair court. It is their responsibility
ability to welcome friends and neighbors to the Tupilake Valley Fair and serve as liaisons while visiting other fairs and events throughout our area, making friends and creating connections along the way. This sisterhood is one which many young girls dream of joining, a reflection of excellence in academics, community service, generosity of spirit, and a true love for our beloved communities and fair. Upon graduation from high school, each member of the fair court who successfully completes their reign is eligible for a scholarship as they pursue their dreams through higher education. Today, it is my distinct privilege to recognize a young lady who shared her positive outlook, great smile, and outstanding dedication to her community during her reign as Miss Tule Lake 2022. On behalf of the Tule Lake Bee Valley Fair, I am honored to present this scholarship to Miss Annalisa Greenwood. Thank you. Is there any others? All right. Well, thank you to all of today's scholarship presenters for your support of our graduates. Thank you, Ms. Cole. It is now time for the class of 2023's video presentation produced by Mr. Hartung and Ruby Production and narrated by Mr. Hartung and Mr. Steiner. Ahora es el momento de la presentación del video de la clase 2023, producido por el señor Matt Hartung y Ruby Productions, y narrado por el señor Hartung y el señor Steiner.
Cohen also thanks his friends he has made throughout high school and for making his high school experience so memorable. Best wishes to the class of 2023. Diego Cerrillo Garcia. Diego is the son of Pedro and Maria Cerrillo. Diego plans to attend Chico State University this fall where he will major in kinesiology. Diego's most important thanks goes to his parents for all of their support and advice throughout his life. Diego has thoroughly enjoyed his time at Tule Lake High School, especially playing sports and hanging out with his good friends. Diego thanks his coaches, teachers, and friends for making high school a great and fun adventure. Paola Chavez. Paola plans to attend Shasta College and major in dental hygiene. Paola thanks her parents and her brother for all the support they have given her. She wants to give a shout out to Mr. Bowen and Leticia for all of the advice and help with scholarships. Thanks to Tara and Ms. Elsman for being a positive influence during her time at THS. Paola also thanks Eileen, Mackenzie, Diego, and Che for being amazing friends throughout her senior year. And she wishes all of her 2023 classmates the best of luck. Natalie Julie Chavoy. <laughs> Natalie is planning to attend Northwest College in Tualatin, Oregon to pursue her dreams in the field of cosmetology. Natalie thanks her friends and family for always showing love and support these past four years at THS. Natalie also gives thanks to her cousin Gio for always knowing how to keep her on her feet. Victoria Mia Colmenero. Victoria is the daughter of Albert Colmenero and Maria Garcia. Victoria plans to attend Klamath Community College this fall and major in cosmetology. Mia wants to thank her parents for always supporting her and encouraging her to reach her goals, along with always being a shoulder to cry on when she needed it. She wants to thank her siblings for always making her laugh and being supportive. She would also like to thank her Aunt Rosa for checking up on her. A big thanks to her best friend Joanna for coming along and never leaving her side. She wants to thank Maria, Diana, and Itari for making her senior year a little more enjoyable. Lastly, Victoria would like to thank Ms. Elsmore. Amber and Ms. Scanlon for reaching out to her when she needed help the most. She wants to thank each and every one of them for taking the time out of their day to help me to get through her day even when they were struggling themselves. She loves you all very much. Don't give me up! <laughs> Annalisa Greenwood. Annalisa is the daughter of Paul and Mindy Greenwood. Annalisa is shipping out with the Army this month where she will study and train to become a Black Hawk helicopter mechanic the goal of becoming a crew chief. Annalisa first thanks her teachers and coaches, especially Mr. Shad, Mr. Hartman, Mr. Help, and Mrs. Brown for all of the lessons, memories, and good times over the years. She also thanks her best friends, teammates, the Fields family, the Herschelers, and the Huffins. She appreciates all you have done and thanks you for helping her become who she is today. Very special thanks to her parents and grandma who have been amazing for all of their love and support. Abel Guillermo. Abel is the son of Abel. Abel will be traveling abroad to Italy for a year. Abel wants to thank his family and friends for supporting him throughout all of his decisions, even if some of those decisions weren't the best of ideas. Although high school was never all that dear to Abel, he appreciates the lessons he learned, and he will cherish most of his memories for a lifetime. Omar Hernandez. Omar is the son of Salvador and Berta Hernandez. Omar is planning to attend UC Davis and major in computer science. Omar thanks Mr. Bowman for being there when he needed help, whether it was reading his college essays or guiding Omar through the maze of financial aid for college. Omar also wants to thank Mr. Hartson not only for coaching him on the FFA Farm Records team, where he led his team to a 2021 state championship, but also for keeping him involved in other activities, including academic decathlon and directing change. Omar especially thanks his parents for giving him the opportunity and encouragement to pursue higher education and to keep taking on new challenges. Natalia <laughs> 
my neighbor Amides. Natalia is the daughter of Ernestina and Jesus Jaime. Natalia plans to attend College of the Siskiyous and major in emergency medical services. Natalia thanks her parents and her brother Ivan for always pushing her to do her best and for always encouraging her. She also thanks her friends Nayeli, Eileen, and Bella for sticking by her in all of her moments and for being such a great support. And she hopes to stay in contact with you in the future. Giovanni Bosa. Giovanni is the son of Agustin Bosa and Lupita Hernandez. Giovanni plans to attend Chico State University in the fall and major in business. Gio thanks his parents, family, and siblings for all the help and support. Next, Gio would like to thank Mr. Bowen for all of the help and preparation, as well as his wise advice. Lastly, Gio would like to thank all of his friends for all of the great memories and for making classes more fun. Aileen Lujano Alcalá. Aileen is planning to go to the College of the Sisters Fall and major in criminology. Aileen wants to thank her family for always supporting and loving her throughout high school. She especially wants to thank her mother and Aunt Maria Martinez for always guiding her throughout all the hard times. She also thanks Mr. Bowen and Tara for never giving up on her. And thanks to her friends Natalia and Paolo for the love, help, and support they continue to give her. Finally, Eileen wishes the best in the class of 2023, and Eileen believes all of you will achieve your dreams. Samantha Martinez. Samantha is the Samantha plans to attend the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and major in business finance. Samantha would like to thank her parents and her two older sisters for shaping her into the person she is today. She would also like to acknowledge Mr. Martin, Ms. Ellsworth, Mr. Howell, and Mr. Quinn for providing her with the opportunities to become successful. Lastly, Samantha thanks her good friends Desiree and Annalisa for allowing her to be her true self without fear of judgment. Che Madison. Che is the son of Stephanie Madison. She plans to attend Chico State University this fall and major in physical therapy. Che appreciates all the previous seniors who have given him rides to practices and other school events. He thanks his mom for always supporting him whenever he needed it. Che would also like to thank his sister Taylor for helping him with his schoolwork and his spelling. Lastly, Che would like to thank his friends who have helped him out, supported him, and looked out for him throughout high school and elementary school. Maria Martinez. Maria plans to attend Shasta College and play for their volleyball team. Maria then plans to transfer to Cal Poly Humboldt and pursue a career in the medical field. Maria would like to thank her parents and family for being her support system, but most importantly to her older sister Jackie for being her role model and showing her right from wrong. Maria would also like to give a big thank you to Mr. Bowman, Leticia Garcia, Mr. Hartung, Ms. Ellsmore, and Tara Wright for always believing in her. Most importantly to her best friend, Julie and Roxanne, for all the love and support they have given her. Maria plans on working really hard, making her family and friends very proud. Citlali Teresa Tinoco Mojica. Citlali is the daughter of Carmen Mojica and the sister of Rome. Citlali plans to attend College of the Sisters and major in early childhood education. She wants to give an extra special thank you to her parents, siblings, and her boyfriend for always supporting her through thick and thin and to all her teachers for helping her, and one last special thank you, all the way to heaven for Mrs. Cross. Silana will always remember all the good memories from basketball and the special time with her good teachers and the laughs and struggles that helped her get on stage today. She wants to be the best mom to her son and work hard for her family and accomplish all her goals in life. Diana Mianuel. Diana is the daughter of Severino Villanueva and Adriana Diaz. Diana plans to go to Plymouth Community College and study business administration. Diana wants to thank her family for supporting her. Although her parents are in Mexico, they always make her feel that they are by her side. She always thanks her brothers for giving her the opportunity.
opportunity to let her achieve her dreams. Thanks to her Aunt Teresa, Uncle Jose, Aunt Priscilla, Cousins Daisy, Jesse, Maya, Hikari, and her grandparents for giving her advice and a home help with homework and for encouraging her to be strong. To Mr. Steiner, Mr. Bowen, and Lynn for always helping her with her homework and for helping her learn English. She'd like to thank Mr. Hartman for teaching her business skills and that he is the best teacher she could have had. Lastly, she wants to thank Jesse for all those times that she helped her from the day she arrived. Itari Villanueva. Itari is the daughter of Paulino Villanueva and Lali Peña. Itari plans to attend Klamath Community College and pursue a career in business administration. Itari agradece a Dios y a sus padres por todo lo que han hecho por ella. Ellos y sus hermanos son más importantes para ella y son su motivación para seguir adelante. También agradece a sus tíos Teresa y José por todo lo que han hecho por ella, a su tía María Elena por su cariño y a sus primas por los mejores consejos y tantos lindos momentos y a sus abuelos que la acompañan desde el cielo. Natalia also thanks her cousin Diana for all of the beautiful times they've had together. Natalia has special appreciation and thanks for several of her teachers including Mr. Steiner for his support and advice, Ms. Elmore for her encouragement, Mr. Halk for his positive comments, Mr. Bourne for always helping her, Matthew for teaching her English, and to Mr. Harton for being the best teacher she has ever had because of his understanding and the fun she had teaching him Spanish. And congratulations to the class of 2023, and success to all. Desiree Williams. Desiree is the daughter of Brian and Jolene Williams. Desiree plans to attend the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and double major in physics and art. Desiree would like to start by thanking all of her teachers, especially Mr. Shea, Mr. Stein, Mr. Barton, Mr. Bowman, Mr. Factory, Mr. Hell, and Mr. Quinn, for all of the lessons, memories, and good times. Desiree also thanks her best friends for all the support and love they have shown all of her class friends for making school a great experience. Finally, Desiree expressed a special appreciation to her parents, sisters, buddy, grandparents, and to all of her family here today.
Hernández. Citlali Julisa Tinoco Mojica.
Paula. Gracias.